Uh, this is a team that really is going to compete. The dynamic is different. And, um, uh, you know, just why not, why not give it a chance and come in and have a good goal on the team and, you know, do what I do. Uh, Coach, what's your relationship with? Yeah, of course. You know, uh, you know, this is a team where you know I, I like the staff and a lot of people here. I, I was very familiar with uh, the manager and all the way down to coaches, uh, players, and all the new players. But I mean, I mean, as far as the staff and that, it was people that I really had a good relationship with. So uh, you know, when it came that time, it was easy to see. Hey guys, uh, Cameron, you heard of Ellie in the third word by way of what's in sports? Mr. Bradley, I got a question for you specifically. Can you talk about how your upbringing and where you learn to play basketball goes into your style of play today? How aggressive you are, how tenacious you are. Talk to, talk to us about where you come. And second part, are you sharing that with any of the young guys coming down from your area like uh, in the local basketball, USC specifically? Well, I'm from um, Tacoma, Washington. Uh, you know, or Seattle, Washington. And I bring a different style of play. I feel like most players from Seattle were all offensive minded, all um, great scores around the NBA. And I think um, my mentality came from, you know, my intensity. I always wanted to impact the game. Um, I always tell people, offensive end, you know, you can have off nights, but my mindset's always been bring it on the defensive end. I can never have off night. If I just play hard and play with passion, and um, that's always been my mindset since I was a young. A young kid, and um, to answer the second part of your question, um, yes, it's, it's something I, I definitely feel like I can help the young guys with. I can help them, um, you know, grow because I feel like in order to get on the court as a young player, defense is the most challenging part, um, especially the coaches. Um, you know, they really hold you to a high standard. They really want you to go out there and pick it up fast. And so I feel like I, I'm going to have a chance to help the younger guys pick their spots, learn how to um, help our team out as soon as possible. And that's my that's my goal to really help Shea. I feel like he can be a special defensive player, and so I'm going to challenge him every single day and push him and help him every single day. Appreciate that. Adam Oslin, AM570, LA Sports. This question is open to both of you guys right here. Uh, Patrick Beverly touched upon it a little bit earlier, but with the players on this team now, can you not just be a good defensive team, but maybe an elite defensive team, even without DeAndre Jordan this season? Yeah, I mean, we, we miss DJ. DJ was brought a lot to this team, but with myself, Luke, and um, Pat, I feel like we're elite defenders. We can guard one through three. Um, those guys, he can guard one through four. And our intensity and our mindset that we have, I feel like it can be contagious for our team. We can, we're, we're good at both ends of the floor. I feel like we can shock a lot of teams this year, shock a lot of people this year, because we are a defensive minded team. Like I said, Shea is a very capable, very gifted defender. And if he gets the opportunity, I feel like he can even help our team. And so our goal this year is just continue to, you know, bring that intensity so our teammates follow suit. And, I feel like we, we could be one of the best defensive teams in the NBA. Uh, Andrew Griffith, I like time right here in the front for Avery. How difficult was it last season to be sitting out for so long due to the injury? And after what you saw from that team, adding the pieces they did in the offseason, what's the potential of this team? I think there's a lot of potential. Um, what they were able to show, what Doc was able to show, the coaching staff was able to show is that, you know, we stick together, anything's possible. We turned it on late and we started playing really good basketball. It was disappointing for me not to be there 